guys, this is Ackley Attack 4427 here with a brand new thoughts video for all of you guys. And, whew, wow, looks like we're finally in the uh, month of August uh, right now. So, who boy, I guess since after what we've uh, been through uh, this uh, past month uh, for uh, sure. Looks like we're in for a real treat uh, for uh, this uh, month uh, right about now. And boy, it looks like we've actually uh, got some pretty interesting uh, stuff coming our way uh, pretty soon uh, for uh, sure. So, so yeah, and what better way to officially uh, kick off, uh, kick off uh, this uh, month uh, as of uh, now than, well, going, uh, going back to a normal with these uh, thoughts videos uh, for uh, sure. So, so yeah. I guess I kind of figured that uh, since after uh, that I only saw three uh, this uh, past uh, month, similar to uh, the uh, three that I saw, yeah, right around uh, back in uh, June for uh, sure. Looks like I think uh, we're uh, pretty much uh, getting things uh, on a roll again, uh, as uh, usual, and and quite fitting enough uh, for uh, pretty much uh, for uh, this. Uh, Looks like uh, we're in for another double feature this time around, so... So yeah, I guess uh, probably by the time I'm recording this uh, Thoughts video, uh, I've already got, off, of course, uh, two movies that I just saw earlier uh, today uh, for uh, sure, so... So yeah, you know me, uh, that I uh, always uh, love a really good double feature uh, for uh, sure, and... Uh, and yeah, looks like uh, for uh, this uh, one uh, for sure... Yeah, it looks like we're in for about two movies that uh, I actually uh, got to uh, see uh, earlier uh, today uh, for sure. With one of them I'm talking about uh, here today uh, for sure, so. So, yeah. So, yeah. Like I said, I always do love uh, doing a good old double feature as uh, normal. And, yeah, luckily enough, I did another one uh, right around earlier today. All thanks to the kind people at Crown City Sigmas, as always. You guys uh, rock, so. So yeah, and of course, uh, I think uh, we might as well kick off uh, pretty much uh, starting off, of course, uh, this uh, pretty much this double feature with, of course, this film we're talking about here today. So, so yeah, I guess if anything uh, looks like uh, I never thought we would actually uh, do this one for a sure, but it looks like for uh, today's uh, thoughts for you. Well, I have uh, talked about the. Uh, Pretty much uh, a good number of films done by uh, well-known directors, uh, for uh, sure. But here's a first uh, that you uh, never thought uh, you uh, hear from me, uh, for uh, sure. Uh, looks like we're talking about the uh, latest uh, film from, of course, a pretty divisive uh, director that uh, you may or may not have, uh, know of that goes by the name of M. Night Shyamalan. Yeah, yeah, I guess it's about time uh, for uh, sure. Looks like for this uh, Thoughts video, for the first time ever, we're finally talking about a movie that's uh, done by M. Night Shyamalan. So, so yeah. And, of course, it is quite interesting that I actually uh, mentioned the uh, guy uh, for uh, sure. Uh, he actually kick-started uh, his... Uh, Pretty much his uh, directing uh, or filmmaking career uh, with, of course, uh, with a few great films such as, of course, Sixth Sense, Unbreakable, and Signs. And then uh, sometime later, he's uh, w pretty much had way too many ideas that were thought out uh, in a clever way and kept on getting green lighting uh, for uh, sure. So. But hey, whatever the uh, case may be, M. Night Shyamalan has, of course, uh, Pretty much uh, has uh, done a good number of uh, films uh, for uh, sure, uh, and uh, and of course, well, we cannot forget for the fact that in every single one of his uh, films that he always puts in a twist uh, for sure that that actually uh, coins the uh, ongoing meme, why a twist? So, <laughs> so yeah, I guess it makes sense uh, given to uh, pretty much uh, given for the fact that uh, uh, that whether you like them or hate them or. Whatever, uh, I guess there's uh, no doubt that M. Night Shyamalan has, of course, uh, done a good number of uh, films that uh, really quite surprised us in a way. And luckily enough for the case of uh, this film, it is certainly the uh, case uh, for uh, sure. So, so yeah. I think uh, we might as well uh, dive right into uh, the Haga for uh, sure. So, so yeah, with that being said, for the uh, first of this uh, double feature uh, for uh, sure, we're finally talking about the uh, latest film from M. Night Shyamalan that just came out uh, not too long ago, which is none other than Trap. So, so yeah, 
that's pretty much uh, what I uh, decided to uh, talk about here today is, of course, the uh, latest film that Shyamalan has, of course, uh, pretty much uh, released uh, as of now, and, well, here I am officially uh, talking about it for sure, so, so yeah, it's pretty much what I can say, uh, of course, that front. Alrighty. Alrighty then, so, uh, so yeah, before I can, uh, go ahead and talk about this, uh, latest, uh, film for sure, I think it makes sense, uh, for me to give a little background, uh, history, uh, for sure, and how, um, now, to be fair, I think, uh, yeah, like I said, I've already gone on, uh, of course, uh, pretty much on, uh, M. Night Shyamalan, uh, at the uh, beginning of this, uh, video, but, but I guess uh, for the case of uh, this movie, I remember when I actually first saw the uh, trailers uh, for sure, right? I think I uh, did remember that. I did kind of have a uh, bit of a uh, mix, uh, mixed feelings, uh, of course, uh, this one uh, for uh, sure, uh, but, but at the same time, I think I do know he actually does have a good number of uh, potential uh, for uh, sure, and I can definitely uh, see that I got possibly uh, work uh, for uh, sure, so... So yeah, I do kind of like the uh, ideas that uh, this uh, decided to uh, go for for a sure that uh, that actually does intrigue me in such a way that uh, I wouldn't normally expect uh, for a sure. In fact, if anything, I kind of didn't expect, uh, pretty much expect any of that from, of course, uh, pretty much a film directed by Shyamalan uh, for a sure. So, but hey. I think I know it's probably been a long time coming because, uh, if anything, I I think I never actually took the time to actually uh, watch uh, any of uh, M. Night Shyamalan's uh, movies that he has uh, put out over the uh, years that I have uh, talked about in a uh, good number of my uh, thoughts videos uh, over the years, uh, for sure. But I figure uh, this will be a really great opportunity for me to uh, actually uh, finally uh, give in to myself and actually uh, do it, uh, for sure, so... So luckily enough, as part of uh, this uh, double feature that I actually uh, got to do, I did manage to uh, decide to uh, go and see this movie first, just to uh, see um, what I'm going to be uh, getting myself uh, into uh, for uh, sure. And and well, now that I have uh, now that I've officially uh, got out of, of course, uh, seeing this uh, movie not too long ago, I bet a lot of you guys may be wondering, what do I think of this uh, movie uh, for sure? Well. <laughs> I think you're going to be quite surprised uh, when I actually uh, say, uh, when you actually hear that I got from me uh, for sure, but I kind of had a wild ride with it. Yeah, I I'm completely serious. I thought this movie was decent. And I think to uh, best uh, describe uh, my reaction uh, to it uh, is that the best way I can uh, describe it is that think of it, uh, pretty much think of this movie as like, uh, pretty much uh, if you take some of the good stuff that he's uh, done in uh, most of his uh, movies, like say Unbreakable and Split, for example, but mix it in with uh, some of these so bad it's good elements uh, from a few other films that he has uh, done, like say Lady and the Water and The Happening. Yeah, that's what you get with, of course, uh, this uh, film uh, for sure. I do think it's a uh, decent enough uh, flick on its own, but seeing how it has come from M. Night Shyamalan for sure, to me, I think this actually uh, does come close to being so bad it's good uh, for sure. So, so yeah, that's probably the uh, best way you can actually uh, describe this uh, movie uh, for sure. Uh, so, so, yeah, it is decent. But I definitely do think it uh, does come close to being so bad it's good uh, for sure, so... So yeah, that's pretty much what I can say, uh, of course, that front. Oops. Oh man, I think I... Oh! There's the uh, cap, I, I'm so sorry about that. Okay, so uh... Now that I got, I got that situation uh, taken care of. So, yeah, where was I uh, before uh, that kind of, uh... Yeah, where was I uh, before uh, the hang uh, missing a uh, camp uh, put me off? Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm finally talking about traps. So, so yeah, now that I've actually got the uh, short version out of the way, I'll go ahead and uh, talk about everything that I need to uh, talk about with, of course, this film. And for starters is, of course, the story and... Honestly, I think, uh, to me, uh, with what I'm seeing uh, with the uh, story, I do like the ideas that uh, this uh, decided to uh, go for, uh, for sure. And, well, if you have seen the uh, trailers for, of course, uh, this film, 
you would definitely know the uh, kind of uh, setup they uh, decided to uh, go for with, of course, uh, this one. And given to what I've actually uh, seen, uh, sure, I think uh, pretty much uh, some parts of the uh, story I do think could have used a little uh, reworking uh, here and there. And uh, some uh, scenes and stuff uh, did kind of bore me uh, a big uh, for sure. But I do like uh, what they were trying to uh, go for with, of course, uh, this one. Uh, just uh, pretty much uh, carry out a really great mystery uh, that uh, they decide to go for, but also carry out, uh, of course, uh, what he needs to do, like a other thriller movie uh, that's uh, pretty much a uh, bang out uh, for uh, sure, so... So, yeah. Given to all that, I really do like, uh, of course, uh, what they decide to go for with, of course, uh, this one, and I'm actually intrigued with, of course, uh, with uh, what I'm actually uh, seeing on screen uh, for uh, sure, and... And yeah, in a way, I really do think it uh, does kind of, uh, does somehow work in some areas, and while others I uh, do kind of felt uh, could have uh, used a little reworking here and there, but, but yeah, I really do like the uh, potential uh, that I got this decide to uh, go for, and I do think uh, this film actually uh, did uh, sort of impress me with, of course, uh, what it actually uh, did with its uh, story for uh, sure, so... So yeah, I think it's uh, why I can't say, yeah, of course, that front, and uh, I guess for the writing, I uh, have to say that's yes, another aspect. Honestly, uh, to me, I think uh, pretty much of anything uh, writing-wise, uh, again, I do like, uh, of course, uh, what it's trying to do uh, to uh, help carry out the uh, story, as I mentioned uh, earlier, but but again, I think uh, some parts of it I just uh, didn't think are actually written out uh, quite well, uh, and uh, even when some parts are written out uh, quite well, uh, I think it does find a way to uh, carry itself over to uh, to actually uh, try to uh, really uh, dumbing uh, down uh, a bit the haga uh, I wouldn't uh, normally expect uh, for uh, sure and uh, and uh, most of the dialogue I will have to uh, say I think I was all yeah you know, pretty much wherever I actually hear one pretty much I uh, hear a piece of a uh, dialogue that uh, goes out I think uh, part uh, part of me uh, was thinking at the top of my head <laughs> who talks like that I mean. And that's another thing I should mention, uh, for uh, sure, in fact, uh, some parts, uh, and even some moments, uh, for one other aspect that I should mention, and normally, I think for uh, some films, I would definitely talk about the uh, comedy, uh, for sure, uh, and you know how in comedy, so, uh, where uh, they actually uh, carry out some uh, jokes that actually uh, do get a really great laugh? Well, for the case of M. Night Shyamalan, uh, I think uh, he probably uh, putting uh, his uh, pretty much uh, some uh, comedic uh, moments in his films on purpose, uh, for sure. Like, 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 think of it as, of course, uh, moments that are trying its best to uh, be serious, but you end up laughing, uh, for sure. Uh, and, and, of course, I did kind of get uh, the hang in a few areas, uh, pretty much in a few moments in, of course, uh, this uh, film, uh, for sure, where... Yeah, I do get it. I think it's, it is trying to, of course, uh, be absolutely uh, serious uh, with uh, what it's trying to do, but with what it's actually trying to uh, do, it actually ended up making me laughing in a good number of areas. Uh, like I was going on, like, oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like I said, I don't know if it's uh, either intentional. Uh, yeah, I don't know if it's uh, intentional for Shyamala or maybe he did it on purpose, but either way, some moments uh, in this uh, movie did get a good laugh out of me uh, for sure, so... So yeah, those are of course uh, what I can say for of course uh, those uh, aspects uh, in a nutshell uh, for sure, so... So yeah, it's pretty much what I can say uh, of course that front. Alright. Alright, so uh, now that I've got those uh, hung up for uh, sure, I think I'll go hang and uh, talk about the next uh, couple things of that I need to uh, talk about for uh, sure, so. So yeah, and I guess uh, for uh, stars, we might as well talk about the uh, characters uh, for uh, sure, and honestly to me, I really do like, uh, of course, uh, what they decide to uh, go for, of course, uh, the uh, characters uh, for uh, sure, and uh, and yeah, I think uh, pretty much in a way, I really do uh, have a, a good sense of, of course, uh, pretty much a, a good chunk of the uh, characters uh, for sure. Like, some of them are actually uh, given some pretty good development that I that I can really uh, get myself uh, behind uh, for sure uh, in a way that does kind of uh, intrigue me in such a way uh, for uh, sure. Uh, and, uh, and I do like uh, for the fact uh, that they uh, pretty much uh, did that in a way to uh, actually make them likable and interesting, which I really do uh, admire uh, for uh, sure in this uh, movie, so. So, yeah. 
Maybe I think uh, some things could have uh, been uh, done to uh, make them even more likable and interesting, but, but again, I really do like, uh, of course, uh, what they actually uh, done uh, for the uh, characters in this film uh, for uh, sure, so... So yeah, those are of course uh, why uh, can uh, say uh, of course uh, that front uh, for sure. And as for the actors that came aboard to uh, play all these uh, characters, well, uh, well, of course I think uh, their performances are not bad uh, in my opinion uh, for sure, uh, as they uh, actually uh, did all right with their uh, performances uh, for sure. Uh, but they actually did it in such a way that is so bizarre uh, that uh, I ended up uh, yeah I was almost uh, left uh, questioning uh, of course. Uh, on their uh, acting uh, choices uh, for sure, uh, but then I actually snapped myself back into a reality and I'm like, oh yeah, it's an M. Night Shyamalan film, uh, I'm not supposed to uh, question uh, the acting uh, for sure, so... So yeah, I think uh, if anything, uh, the acting is not bad in, the, of course, uh, this uh, flick uh, for sure, uh, but, but hey, it's the kind of acting you would expect from, well, an M. Night Shyamalan movie uh, in a nutshell for sure, and oh yeah, and, I know I will probably uh, save it later, but I might as well uh, bring up on uh, now uh, for sure. If there's uh, one thing I can uh, give this uh, movie credit for is, of course, uh, I really do admire uh, that uh, Shyamalan has uh, brought on his uh, daughter, uh, yeah, who goes by the name of uh, uh, pretty much uh, Salika Shyamalan, I believe that's uh, what her name is, uh, who actually played uh, Lady Raven, of course, at uh, this uh, film. And if there's uh, anything I can give this uh movie uh, credit for is that I really do like uh, her uh, performance of course uh, this one and plus seeing of how she is a uh, talented uh, musician uh, for sure I really do like uh, of course uh, pretty much uh, the uh, pretty much uh, the uh, music and the uh, song she incorporated into of course uh, this uh, film bag uh, I really do uh, admire uh, for sure if this movie actually uh, does have a soundtrack available with the uh, good number of uh, Lee raving uh, songs available I would definitely love to uh, pick it up for sure so so yeah, I can give this movie credit uh, for uh, Shyamalan to bring in her own daughter to actually uh, be in this one uh, for uh, sure. So, so yeah, so yeah, I'll definitely give you a point for that, uh, Shyamalan uh, for sure. So, so yeah. Yeah, I guess uh, that is a good way to, of course, uh, wrap up those uh, aspects in a nutshell for sure. And I think you can kind of see uh, uh, where I'm actually uh, going for with, of course, this one. So, so yeah. It's pretty much why I can't say, of course, that front. Okay, I guess I'm done with that. Alright, so now that I've got those uh, done uh, and out of the way, what else is there for me to uh, talk about? Quite a whole lot, actually. Uh, so, um, so for starters, uh, I think I might as well talk about its uh, togging atmosphere uh, for sure, and uh, and I think to a best describe it is that, think of it as, of course, uh, pretty much the uh, towing atmosphere that you would see in uh, pretty much uh, Shyamalan's uh, trilogy that uh, he actually uh, did with, of course, uh, pretty much uh, the two that I mentioned earlier, uh, Unbreakable and Split, uh, but also his uh, third film that he uh, did, uh, Glass, uh, for sure. And, uh, and I think uh, with what I'm seeing uh, with its uh, towing atmosphere, it's kind of like uh, the towing atmosphere in those uh, three films, uh, for sure, almost like uh, it's some kind of uh, unofficial spin-off, uh, for sure. So, <laughs> you know... If this movie would have taken, uh, taken place uh, in uh, that Sega series that Shyamalan uh, did uh, for sure, I think we would have gotten one hell of a uh, cameo from, of course, either Samuel L. Jackson or uh, James McAvoy uh, for uh, sure. Uh, so, And normally I would probably include uh, Bruce Willis uh, for uh, sure, but I think he's uh, pretty much... Uh, taking care of some things uh, personally uh, for sure that I won't go into uh, too much uh, detail on, but... But hey, you'll definitely see what I mean uh, for sure, so... So yeah, I guess with its uh, towing atmosphere, it's almost like it's uh, wanting to uh, be a unofficial spin-off to, of course, uh, those uh, three films I actually uh, mentioned uh, for uh, sure, to which I wouldn't be surprised if it actually uh, is the uh, case uh, for sure, but but again, um, I think it is uh, trying to uh, do what it needs to uh, do uh, for sure, so... So yeah, and of course, uh, for another uh, for another thing I should uh, mention uh, for uh, sure is of course while I is of course uh, for another aspect that I should mention. Yes, we might as well talk about the uh, direction from the, uh, from this uh, film uh, that's given to us from M Night Shyamalan himself, and 
And again, uh, I think, uh, I think he, uh, pretty much of anything, and like Shyamala Hunga has pretty much done a fine job uh, directing this uh, film uh, for a sure hand, and actually uh, gives off uh, some uh, stuff that uh, you would not really see uh, pretty much uh, with his uh, style of filmmaking, and of course, uh, and of course, uh, his uh, directing. Uh, Profession uh, or style that he uh, normally uh, does uh, in all of his uh, films uh, for uh, sure so But either way, it's not bad of course uh, this one uh, for sure But it is uh, what you expect uh, for uh, sure uh, from a movie uh, directed by him uh, for sure and and of course uh, for the uh, cinematography I have to say again I do think it's actually a fine uh, and and we actually do get some uh, Google the uh, camera shots uh, for uh, sure and uh, and of course, well, seeing how uh, pretty much he is matching with, of course, uh, his uh, style of filmmaking, uh, for sure. Yeah, Shyamalan always uh, does have the uh, tendency to uh, incorporate weird uh, camera shots uh, in, uh, for sure. Like, of course, probably the biggest uh, culprit is, of course, uh, pretty much uh, having the uh, character uh, be almost in a close-up uh, and uh, talking to another person while looking at the uh, camera. Just, uh, yeah, just uh, kind of like uh, this, uh, for sure, uh, like... Uh, Pretty much, I'm uh, talking to a one uh, person, uh, but uh, I'm looking directly at the uh, camera and uh, actually uh, talking to you guys uh, for sure as hell. So, yeah. <laughs> Again, it's kind of weird, uh, of course, uh, given to his uh, style for sure. Just uh, pretty much having a you know, regular old conversation for uh, someone uh, with uh, each uh, character talking to the camera like this uh, for sure. So, <laughs> wow. Wow. But you kind of get what I mean uh, by, of course, uh, the uh, cinematography and, of course, uh, this one. And, and again, um, pretty much uh, for uh, the uh, next aspect, uh, or I guess uh, pretty much of anything, uh, the second to last one, uh, for sure. In fact, I kind of lost count. I'm so sorry. So, But, of course, uh, for the ending, I have to uh, say, it is kind of fine, uh, for uh, sure. Uh, and I really do like the uh, good uh, cuts they actually uh, did to uh, help go along with the uh, film's uh, pacing, to which... To which, yeah, that's another thing I can't give uh, credit for. Uh, I do like uh, for the fact that the film does take its time uh, for uh, sure. And yeah, some parts of it can be a little uh, slow, but but for uh, other times, it actually does work in a good number of uh, areas uh, for sure. So, so yeah, give it to, of course, uh, what I've actually uh, said uh, for uh, sure. Yeah, that pretty much uh, sums up everything that I can say for, of course, uh, this one uh, for sure. So... So yeah, that's pretty much what I can say, uh, of course, that front. Alright. Alright, so yeah, I guess with all that said and done, that pretty much uh, wraps up everything I need to uh, say about this movie for sure. So, so yeah, overall, Trap, I will have to say, yeah, I guess on its uh, own, uh, if you take Shyamalan's name out of it, it is a decent enough uh, flick uh, for sure. But seeing how this is a uh, M. Night Shyamalan movie in a nutshell for sure, yeah, I definitely do think this film is uh, decent enough for what it is, but it does come close to being so bad it's uh, good, like, uh, like, I would actually uh, go through this uh, movie and actually have a uh, good enough uh, time uh, and uh, find myself enjoying this uh, flick despite how bad it is uh, for sure, so... So yeah, doesn't actually uh, fit in that category for sure, but it does come close uh, for sure, so... So yeah, with everything that I've actually uh, said, uh, yeah, some parts of it I really do think uh, work uh, quite well, but other times I uh, just uh, don't think it actually uh, does uh, for sure. But that's actually all the more reason on, uh, on uh, how it actually uh, got me intrigued uh, for sure. Uh, sometimes I uh, got myself uh, impressed by a really good scene. Other times I would actually uh, pretty much uh, not be impressed by, uh, by a really uh, bad scene uh, for sure. Uh, sometimes I would actually be bored, while other times I could get a huge uh, laugh uh, for sure, so. So, yeah. But I guess on its own, I do think it's alright uh, for sure. And again, what would you expect uh, for a movie directed by M. Night Shyamalan uh, for sure, so. So, yeah. But either way, I think if it's uh, something that uh, you can actually get behind and actually uh, sit through for well over uh, an hour and a half uh, for sure, then yeah, I definitely say this movie is uh, well worth uh, checking out uh, for sure. And. And who knows, maybe with uh, probably the next film he'll actually uh, direct uh, for sure. Maybe Shyamalan might uh, 
pretty much uh, give us something uh, either good or bad or somewhere in between for sure, uh, but we we may never know uh, what it actually comes around. But for now, I definitely do think uh, Trap does come close to being so bad that it's uh, good, but it's still uh, pretty, uh, pretty much a decent enough uh, flick on its own. So, so yeah. That's pretty much why I can say, of course, that front. So, so yeah. And you know what? I'm going to be fair on, of course, on this one and give it to my reaction. I'm going to give this movie a 5.5 out of 10 as my final score. I definitely do think uh, this film is a uh, decent enough uh, flick uh, for uh, what it is, but it definitely co uh, definitely comes close to uh, being uh, so bad it's good uh, for uh, sure. Uh, not by much, but only a little uh, hair uh, sprint uh, towards uh, that category uh, for uh, sure. And and yeah, and I definitely do think uh, I definitely do think uh, it's probably the best way you can actually uh, put this uh, movie for uh, sure, which is still decent enough. So so yeah. It's pretty much why I can't say, of course, that front. All right. All right, so I guess uh, with all that said and done, that pretty much uh, takes care of that. So, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this uh, latest uh, thoughts video. And by all means, uh, what do you think about Trap if you've actually uh, seen it? Uh, do you absolutely really enjoy it and have a really great uh, time with, of course, this one? Do you absolutely uh, hate it? I think it's uh, another bottom of the barrel from M. Night Shyamalan or... Or are you like me uh, and uh, you're somewhere in between where you uh, think it's all right for what it is, but definitely uh, think it's come uh, come close to being so bad it's uh, good. So so yeah, let me know what you thought of this uh, movie in the uh, comments down below if you've already uh, seen it. I would definitely uh, love to know what you guys think. So so yeah, that's pretty much what I can say. Of course, that front. Thank you guys so much for watching this uh, latest uh, thoughts video. And well, we're not done just yet. Oh no, no, no because. I got one other movie that uh, I've uh, pretty much uh, already uh, seen uh, not too long ago as part of my double feature that I'm eager to uh, talk about in its uh, own thoughts video next uh, for sure. So, and to do that, I think it's uh, time that we get our, our magic uh, purple crayon uh, for sure. And I think you can kind of uh, see on, uh, where I'm going with, of course, on uh, this one uh, for sure. So, so yeah. Boy, am I not going to have a good time uh, talking about uh, the next uh, film for sure, but, but we shall have to wait and see. So, I guess until then, thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, I'll see you in the next uh, Thoughts video. Take care. Special thanks to all of my supporters on Patreon for making today's video possible, including my top tier supporters for this month, VD. So if you want to be like these guys and show your support to us, then go to patreon.com forward slash TV to pledge now, do so, and get some awesome rewards within your budget. Hey guys, this is AkleeTac4427 here, thank you all so much for watching today's video. Feel free to like, comment, and share if you enjoy what you're seeing. If you like what you see here and want to see more videos coming up, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button and switch on the notification bell to get notifications and select all notifications to be notified for when we post a new video. And don't forget to switch on notifications on your phone as well. Also, don't forget to check out my second channel and our two-member channel with Sam the Thomas Fan 1, Sam Attack 4427 the Thomas Fan 1 Productions for plenty more content you can't find on here. You can check both of our channels out with the links or by our handles provided on screen. Feel free to shoot me an email with my email address provided, beackley95 at hotmail.com if you want to ask me a question, want to collab with me for a project you've got in the works, or if you want to book me to be featured for a convention coming up. Follow me on my social media pages on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram to keep up to date with me on updates, announcements, and new releases of my videos, as well as plenty of others I've got with my handles provided, as well as the links down in the description box below. Also, don't forget to follow me on TikTok for other videos I've got aside from the ones I've posted on YouTube and on Twitch for any future live streams I've got coming up soon, as well as join our official Discord server to see what we've provided. 
If you wish to show your support to me, then feel free to check out my Patreon to get sneak peeks of my videos coming up before they go up online, as well as gain access to updates and play more in addition to gain some awesome rewards within your budget. Also, don't forget to check out and show your support to me on my wishlist on Amazon, and even supporting me at streamlabs.com forward slash TV forward slash tip that you can find in the description box below, as well as on my Twitch page. And in case you can't find any of the links that are provided, then not to worry about a thing. All the links and stuff are also provided on my link tree that you can also find in the description box below, as well as a few selected number of my social media pages. Other than that, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll be sure to see you in the next video. Take care.